YouTubers, family and friends. Another beautiful day here in the Philippines. Ruel and I are still conditioning the pool. He's sweeping it down right now and we vacuumed it yesterday. It's our creepy crawler. That's a, what you call a creepy crawler right there. And that vacuums the bottom of the pool. You can, here I'll show you a little better. It, that device right there goes to the bottom of the pool and that sucks all the, the sediment and uh, debris and biomatter that's on the bottom of the pool and then it sucks it down this hose and goes into this it's a net inside that little container and all the big stuff gets caught in there like leaves or chunks of anything you know and then only the the algae goes back through into the suction of the pumps and then gets uh, filtered out there and uh, I shocked the pool a couple times yesterday and once today so it's it's uh, it's coming but the, the the thing that was so bad with it right after all that pollen just two weeks of solid pollen just just hitting it thick it, it, the pH dropped way down so it's really been tough to clean but anyway I want to talk to you guys today a little bit about uh, you know what's going on in the Philippines uh, the reason why I started my channel is because God sent me here eight or ten years ago to get away from the evil and in every institution almost in the in the US uh, you could see the idolatry the greed the Satan worshiping uh, you know the the trafficking of small children and it's you know it, it's unbelievable some of this stuff you can't even talk about it's so horrendous what's evil men are doing in the world today and it describes in the Bible the harlot uh, of Babylon, Mystery Babylon, and that's the combination of Israel, U.S., U.K., uh, you know, basically the, that triad is, you know, because, and along with, you know, there's others too, minions of the, of the, Merchants, it explains in the Bible the merchants of Babylon. There's, there's all been idolatried and har harlotried together. They're all in bed together, basically, you know, feeding upon each other's sin. It's just horrendous, worse than the days of Noah. And so, I, the God says, go forth from Babylon, get out, flee, flee from that. And that's why I'm in the wilderness now, in one of the 7,000 islands of the Philippines. And that's what God says to do, get out from me. And it's, it's like a civil war, even families are fighting against each other. And it's, it's a spiritual division of what's going on in the entire earth right now. And the, the Hebrew remnant of God's chosen people from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I mean, the remnant had been scattered throughout the world because uh, Israel back in the day was destroyed. So King Solomon's temple was destroyed by the Babylonians and these Sumerians and, uh, excuse me, and these Kazarians, Kazarian Mafia, if you ever heard that term, these are the people that today call themselves Jews. And that's the evil entity that's now residing in the, the fake state of Israel. Israel is the remnant of the Hebrew bloodlines, which is scattered throughout the world they did not come back majority of them did not come back because 
to Israel in 1948 when the state of Israel was created by the Rothschilds, the Kassarian Mafia, the head of it. I mean, the Rothschilds, they have trillions. They own the world, basically, right? And they're the cabal that is England, the U.S., and is this state of Israel. And the remnant is throughout the earth. And a lot of the remnant don't even know they're the remnant of the original bloodlines because they've been scattered and they've lost their identities. And the Holy Spirit in these end times, the Bible says the Holy Spirit will be com coming down upon all flesh. And we have a choice to reject it or to embrace the Holy Spirit of God and go forth and follow His ways and follow His commandments and His statutes and ordinances and follow the love of Jesus Christ that He's died for us, right? And so we can regain our identity and be waiting for the instruction of, of Christ Jesus in these end times of what we're, we're to do to serve Him and be obedient unto God. So... That's what I feel that this place is, that, that uh, the Lord has led me here to create this place. It's a sanctuary uh, unto God. And a lot of people that, that are God's people in the world that have found their identity and realize that they are of Hebrew blood, the true descendants of the land of Israel in the days of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, those bloodlines will uh, start to follow the Holy Spirit in what's called the second exodus. They will be leaving these places that they've lived throughout the most of their generations and lives scattered throughout the world, and they'll start coming back to zones of sanctuary and safety that the Lord has set up for them. And it says in the Bible that they will, you will go into the mountains and into the wilderness and places of safety. And the Holy Spirit is working big time right now, God's Holy Spirit, on all flesh in the world to regain your new identity that was, once was the remnant of the Hebrew people. And those people will be coming to places like here where God has sent me. And... This place is a place of sanctuary, and when things really start getting bad from the, all the many, many plagues that Christ or that God is going to send down from the seven seals, seven trumpets, and seven vials or seven bowls of destruction and, and wrath upon the earth in the last days, these, and if you're not taken up with Him in, in this different series of of raptures that he has in place and only God knows these things and only God knows not even the son Jesus knows the timing of these things only God the almighty father know about the timing of these things so if you see these Jezebels and false prophets and false teachers and false pastors and priests on the YouTube or in the world saying do this, do that and it's contrary to what the word of God says flee from these people of deception because they're leading you down the road of Satan so I just found two more here within the last couple days of people that sound real good at the beginning but you start digging into what in their other videos and what they were, were saying they're saying all kinds of stuff that's completely against God's Word. So, like I say, guys, don't trust anyone. And anyone that you think you can trust, you have to bring what they're saying to the Word of God and compare it to what they're saying with what Scripture says. Because that's the only way you're going to find the truth is looking into the Bible. It's the only truth out there. The only truth. So even if a hundred people were saying, go here, go, Christ is over here, or this 
wonderful leader of God is over here. Go to him. Don't do it. Go and discern. And if you have the Holy Spirit, you can discern these people because your discernment can only be gotten from the Holy Spirit, which can only be found in the Word of God, the Bible. King James Version is the best, but if you are willing to go into the Greek and the, and the Hebrew translations, you can even get a better truth of, of the interpretations. But don't rely on your own understanding, whatever you do. Your own understanding only draws you to Satan. So remember that. Only through the Holy Spirit can you find the truth. And only through the Holy Spirit you will be saved and your family can be saved. So that's critical, guys. Absolutely critical. So all I can say is that I'm here as a place of sanctuary and if ever things get too bad I will give you you my email and I've done this with several of my subscribers already and we have back and forth email conversations some people are coming here to visit some people are coming here to to uh, move here in their retirement some people are on vacation following God's Word and God's will and looking for places of sanctuary when if things get so bad that they want to be in a place of like-minded individuals of the remnant of the Hebrew bloodline and be so we can build each other up in in Christ's name and be ready for to serve him in whatever manner that that is so just let the Holy Spirit guide you, not any of these false teachers uh, that teach in blasphemy and abominations to God. It's, it's amazing. They, they, they talk as if they're saved Christians and, and loving and all that, and then you get to some of their teachings and bam, you get hit across the head because it's, it's not even close to what God's Word is, but these people are smart. Satan knows the entire scriptures of the Bible, right? Super smart. And they can twist and turn the scriptures to, to a Jezebel spirit or a spirit of idolatry of money or whatever it is. These are the evil spirits that can get in your head and get in your heart and say, Oh, God wants me to be rich. I'm going to follow the money right that's idolatry or i'm a woman i'm just as good as a man you know that's the spirit of jezebel god doesn't say that god says in genesis 2 6 i believe it is that because of the fall of when eve took the apple and ate it and gave it to or not not apple the fruit the forbidden fruit uh and ate it and gave it to adam and and persuaded him to eat it uh, because of that, God put the rule of man over woman. Go to the scriptures. It says that. A lot of women don't want to hear any of that. They want to hear, I'm as good or better than a man. And you know who that is it's talking? Satan. So this Jezebel spirit is, is huge in the world right now, guys. And that's because... Satan it has has a feminine thing to 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 it. It describes Satan as being so beautiful, right? And this this vanity of beauty is something that is twisted in the evil side and it's against God. And uh, why didn't God pick any of his prophets? Moses, uh, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Isaiah. I mean, it go, the list goes on and on. Noah, all his prophets were men. Why? Because men were created from God. Women were were created from man by God. They took the rib. God took the rib of man and made the woman. She is not of equal standing on this earth with man. That's God's law. That's God's word, not mine. Right? She is not with equal standing. The only thing equal in a woman to a man is your soul. 
or the Holy Spirit that descends down upon you when you become saved and you walk in the Holy Spirit, which you can only get from God's Word. So the Holy Spirit and your soul is the only thing that's equal between a man and a woman. Everything else is the woman has her role, the man has his role. That's what a big, huge twisting thing of the genders going on. That's evil. That's complete Jezebel, satanic spirits that's going on, saying that the woman is equal or the same as man, or this gender swapping, sex change, you know, men wearing the clothing of women, women wearing the clothing of men. I mean, it's that whole thing is satanic. So run from it. Run as fast as you can and rebuke these people teaching this stuff and tell them to repent because they are leading people into the abyss. So this is one thing the Holy Spirit's really been uh, on my heart lately because I see these people teaching this blasphemies in these YouTube channels. So go to the Word of God. It's the only place you're going to get the truth, guys. Don't listen to other people. If you want to listen to them, listen to them with a big grain of salt. And, you know, and then go to the Word with everything that they're bringing forth. So, and how you can tell that by discerning the spirits and discerning people if they're evil or good is that when they're prophesying, they speak to you exactly the words that they are shown or given in their, in their vision or their dream. They quote, they've written it down on paper or in their tablet or something, word for word. And they prophesy that word through the Holy Spirit that has given this word from God to the people. That's what prophets do. They don't interpret Bible verses of what they think the Bible verses mean. I mean, that's between you and the Holy Spirit and God and, and His Son, Jesus, right? Don't take the words and the interpretations of these people that are online. They have all kinds of funny ideas of timelines of the Re book of Revelations and how exactly raptures are going to happen and how exactly people are going to be brought forth or taken from the grave or how these wraths of God are going to hit in chronological order. They know nothing. Only God the Father knows that. Not even the Son. Jesus knows the timing or the, or the order of which these things are going to happen. We know the seasons and God gives His true prophets uh, warnings to the people of the things He is about to do but the timing is is not there right you can discern the seasons and the feasts and the prophets know general timings of seasons but the day and the hour not right so definitely the holy spirit is working from god is working on all flesh in the world right now that's un, undisputable all men and women throughout the world right now, the God's Holy Spirit has been poured down on them. And many of them are repenting and, and coming to Christ from this downpouring of the Holy Spirit. And they're, some of them are prophesying. Even children are prophesying in, in Jesus' name. And with any prophecy, they, they are saying the exact words that the voice of the Holy Spirit, whether that be Jesus or God the Father or an angel has shown them and so they repeat those words exactly and then they're, they have also been shown scripture to back up those words because the Bible proves the Bible, right? And it's the only thing that's proof is the Bible and other supporting documents like the Book of Jubilee, written by Moses, the Book of Ezra, Ezra, uh, what other ones? The Book of Enoch, things like this, right? Which they are, those people are in the Bible. And then they have these other scriptures that weren't put into the Bible. 
But always go to the Word of God, the Bible first, then use these other documents as supporting documents, but not, you know, because in the mouth of two or three witnesses, let a thing be established. There's proof there. So, all I can say is I'm praying for you guys. This is a place of sanctuary in the Philippines. You can get lost in the wilderness here of 7,000 islands, right? And amongst the people here, they're like children. They're like children unto God. And that is, in Jesus' words, what the kingdom of heaven is, is as of the, uh, what a child, the innocence of a child is. That's the kingdom of heaven, complete innocence. And that's when the, the 7,000 years comes and the, and the new Jerusalem comes down and, and the Satan is, and all his minions and, and evil angels are put back into the abyss, all that jealousy and sinful nature will be gone from the world and we will then again be like children of complete innocence and wonder and love. And it's just, praise God, right? His plan is, is perfect for us. All we have to do is repent and obey. And don't get stuck on uh, the law as being a downfall. We should love the law because the law is God's love for us. So we must obey. And that's what a lot of people that don't have the Holy Spirit when they hear the word obey or uh, man is ruling over the woman or when they hear these things that's where the evil spirit gets in you and that's from Satan because that's what he did to God he rebelled against God that rebellious spirit right that's huge so anyways I, lo I love you guys so much and I'm praying for you and I can't wait for that day that we're all just like innocent children and we are loving and praising the Lord, God, the Father. And all I can say is be a vessel, get into the Word of God, be a vessel in a, in a, uh, of a clean spirit and pray and fast as much as you possibly can in these last days and be watching for the signs, watching for God's signs. Just be ready and be uh, professing God's Word and if you're a watchman, be repeating what uh, the, the true prophets are saying out there and to help warn the people. And that's our job right now, guys. So, yes, we're supposed to enjoy life, but we're not of this earth. We are not to love this world or this earth. We're not of it. We live in it because this is our testing grounds. This is where we are, where we are tested, right? to see if, if we can cleave unto the Lord. Because that's what he says to do. Obey thy commandments and cleave unto me. So, anyways, I just brought you that message for today. It's been upon my heart. Just be guarded. Wear all the armor of faith and love and, and the sword, which is the word. We, all this armor of protection you need to have on you because there's, there's a hell on earth coming. And that's of God's doing. So get yourself right and repent and then obey and love thy neighbor. So I love you guys and praying for everyone. And it, please send me an email or give me a comment. Anything that you, if you are interested in, in sanctuary the Philippines to get out of the evil Babylon, fleeing from that, those countries, uh, just... I, I'll help you as much as I can as for what I know from the years that I've been here to help you guys out. So take care and God bless. Bye-bye.